Hello Zebra and welcome back to New Super Mario Bros. Wii. And today, we are moving on to World 2, as you can see right here. Um, also, last episode, we got all of World 1 completed. As you can see, all the star coins and all of the levels. It was a lot of fun. And we're hoping to do the same here in World 2. It is a very difficult world, in my opinion. So let's get cracking. Let's see if we're gonna use up all 46 of our lives, or maybe we'll even go up a little. I'm not sure. But there are a lot of tough star coins, a lot of tough secret exits that you can find in this world. I've never been a big fan of a lot of desert levels in Mario games. I dislike them more than I like like water levels. And a lot of people dislike water levels in Mario games, but I feel like desert levels are almost always worse. There's always just something about the design of them that I've never really been too happy about. I feel like it slows down the pacing of the game a little bit too much in a weird way. But hey, this one isn't too bad of a desert world. It just can be pretty tough at times. We got all these sand dunes that are raising up. I gotta get a star coin from it. And if I wait for the sand dune over this way, I can throw this guy in, boom, get myself a one-up, which will be pretty useful. Like I said, I'm gonna take all the lives I can get because it is very easy to fall and just make a ton of mistakes. Oh, like I almost made right there. That wouldn't have been great. Okay, dodge those Koopas. The timing of these things can be really weird as well. It's just, it's a little bit to get used to. I do think that some of the other worlds that will be coming up in later in this series are actually easier than this one, especially when it comes to 100%ing everything, finding the uh, the star coins and the such are a little bit just, a little crazy. There we go, got him. No, I was trying to jump over that. That's a new enemy for us, boomerang bros. They uh, throw boomerangs, who would've thought? Okay, so we gotta be careful. This prana plant, but I think we can handle it. And this is where some difficult star coins show up. There's a really tough one right at the beginning of this level that sometimes I just recommend having a propeller cap for, but since we don't have one, and I don't think there's one in this level, it's not gonna be easy to get. I'm trying to think about how we can get it, but we'll have to get up to it first, and I'm taking unnecessary damage. That is not good. Luckily, they know that you will, and they give you a mushroom. No, 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 come on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I almost saved myself too. Gosh darn it. I mean, I guess that gives me a second to go and get a propeller cap. I do recommend it, even if it is a little cheap to go and go into a level that doesn't have a propeller cap with a propeller cap. I will make exceptions for World 2 because I just don't like this this world very much. I know I went from having so much fun last world to maybe not having as much fun this world. But it's okay, it'll all balance out in the end. The next couple worlds are a lot of fun. Okay, so let's just wait here for a moment. So this one right here should just, you know, it does give us a power up, but I don't think it's a propeller cap. No, that doesn't give me a power up. I'm getting that wrong. But we can dodge a lot of the obstacles in our way with the propeller cap in this level, which is why I think some people just don't go for that. I feel like it's a little bit of cheating. Oh my. So yeah, this is the really tough star coin. And what they expect you to do is land on that Koopa as he's over a sand doom pick up the shell and then throw it this way. But why would I do that when I can just do this and save myself 10 minutes of trial and error, right? It's one of my least favorite star coins in the game, which is pretty crazy that it's this early on in the game. But hey, we did it. World 2-1 is completed. That was one of the more scarier ones. There are many scarier ones still to come, but definitely I did not like that one very much when I first played it and the second time and the third or the 80th time now that I've played it. Anyways, we got ourselves another mushroom hunt. Last time we did this, we weren't so successful. We only got like two combos out of the possible like eight. Okay, so let's see how we do with this one. I think it's still gonna be the matching up. Maybe I'm wrong. Yep, it's gonna be power up panels. Can we get all of them? I really hope so. I really, really hope so. And that's not a good start. That was a really bad start. I wonder if it's possible just to immediately lose. Probably, but I'm bound to do it at some point. <laughs> There's some propeller caps. That's a mini mushroom. We haven't even run into that yet in the game, but we will need it soon, so it's good to have it. There's Bowser, oh boy. Yeah, we got the mini mushroom. That's gonna be great to have. Grab this, that's a fire flower. Propeller cap. Fire flower again. Propeller cap, okay. Ice, ice flower. Come on, no! Okay, we got a good amount of stuff, though. I can't complain. Ah, uh, if I just went, Oh, if I just moved one to the left and did those, I would have gotten all of them. That would have been so exciting. But we at least got one mini Mario. That's pretty good if you ask me. So there is that level done. We aren't quite done with the first couple of levels, this first little area yet. We gotta move on over to 2-2. Two, two. I do not like this level either. This one's a tough one. If I remember correctly, this might actually be where we need mini Mario. We might have to complete this level twice to get everything. But we also have little barrels which you can pick up, just Donkey Kong style. Just pick them up and throw them. Let's see where they go. 
I think I'm gonna hold on to what I got with the propeller cap. I honestly think it'll help me more than what these guys can. And hey, look, it's Spike. I think he's from Mario 3. Well, he's back now. I don't think he was in the DS version of New Super Mario Bros. So it's cool to see him here. I know he's in the new Mario game coming out, Mario Tennis Aces, as a playable character, which is pretty cool. I'll be playing that soon, so hope you guys are excited for that. Oh yeah, there's this little button here. Let me go ahead and press the P switch. I never understood what the P standed for in the P switch. Maybe just push? Okay, so we got rid of Spike, get all these coins. That's a good chunk of coins right there. And I'm gonna ignore that power up. Just because, like I said, I wanna keep the propeller cap as much as I can, if it's possible. I just gotta be careful about how I handle things because there's lots of obstacles everywhere and Spike will sort of turn towards you, which is not good for me. Come on, get him, get him! <laughs> because if he picks up a, or I guess he spits them out. If he spits out a ball again, that'll hurt me. And they just roll around, they make a, a big ruckus. What is this gonna be, nothing. So I do remember I need this Koopa shell to be bouncing around. It'll hit all these Goombas, and I was wrong about that, actually. I need this Koopa, and then we should be able to bounce between these guys just like that. But if I could have grabbed that other Koopa shell and then hopped here, up here with this, I think it could have gotten an extra one up out of it. But hey, that's fine. Oh boy, oh boy. Yeah, one up. Okay, so there is the checkpoint here, but I'm actually gonna go down here first because we just want to. We have a death wish, apparently. Now, actually, there's a secret if we go down this way, which you never would have guessed, you know? I, I actually just was like, huh, this is weird. Let me roll down here. I actually did find this on my own when I was little. But I wanted to talk to you about that a little bit in today's episode when we find the time. My first experience with this game, but for, for now, we gotta hit another P switch. And this one stands for, press me, ah, oh, I'm falling. That doesn't make any sense, Zebra, what are you talking about? Anyways, we fall down here, we get a bunch of coins for it, but then we have not one, but two spikes, and they're not fun to deal with, and this is why I really prefer to have the propeller cap for this level as well, because doing this without the propeller cap is so difficult, because you gotta do this, and then you gotta get up there, and it's just like, you gotta do that while dodging the spikes, or get up to them and defeat them. I'd rather not deal with any of that, and just use the propeller cap, it's so much easier. But we're still not done with all the, the spike action. If I pick up one of these barrels, I might be able to treat him to a little bit of his own medicine. That's good. And then down this way, there's a little something, if I remember correctly. First off, if we could get rid of you, and then let's go up this way. I forget what this is about. Is this where the uh, next star coin is? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe. Huh, I don't remember at all. <laughs> let's get these coins. We're almost at 50 lives. I wanted to get to that last episode, but in the beginning of the second episode, isn't that bad either. But anyways, I played New Super Mario Bros. when it came out back in, I think, holiday of 2009, such a long time ago. Here it is. Oh gosh, oh gosh, we gotta be careful. Um, uh, I don't know why I keep spinning like that. I don't know what button, I, I, I guess I was just sort of shaking the Wiimote a little bit. That was scary. But um, yeah, like I was saying, it was back in the holiday of, oh gosh, 2009. And that was a little bit of a memorable spot for me. I was like 13 years old. And here's the mini Mario. I'm pretty sure there's a star coin down here, but I don't know if there's any way to get a mini Mario in this level, which is one of my biggest gripes with this game. I'm just trying to pick this up. Come on, there we go. Whoa, whoa. Okay, yeah, I guess I don't have to keep, keep uh, shaking the Wiimote to hold the item. I just need to shake it to pick it up. And then this is how you get out of there with without the mini Mario. So we'll have to come back in this level in just a moment with the mini Mario to actually end up getting that, that that third star coin. But for now, that's it. But yeah, that's a memorable time in my life because that's actually back when I started started more seriously making videos. I started making more gaming videos and I started playing through games for you guys. I was very young. It's almost 10 years later now that I'm playing the game still. But it was just a very, very memorable time. I had so much fun playing it for the first time and that's why this one is so special to me. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get the mini Mario, just like that, and now we gotta head back in, and I guess we gotta make it all the way there without getting hit once. So if I don't do this, I don't know what I'm gonna do about it. So this is not good. As you can see, I need to dodge every power-up now, because every power is gonna actually make this more difficult for me. I mean, maybe there was a way to get mini Mario in the level itself, but I do not remember that. And I was looking around pretty decently, so that's not gonna be very worthwhile for me for right now, is to look around for that stuff. 
Okay, this can be a little bit scary because to actually hit any of these enemies, I'd have to butt slam them. So I think it might actually just be smarter to bounce off one of their heads. There we go, and get an easy getaway out of this. I can't hit the checkpoint either. Whoa, whoa, I moved a little too quick there. I can't hit the checkpoint either though because of the fact, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. We're almost there though. But the problem, oh yeah, the major problem is I still need to pick up this barrel. Whoa, what is all this stuff? I guess I didn't see this because I did the, the overhead area. No, that's bad, that's really bad. I think I, whoa, need one of these barrels to get to the secret, but maybe I'm wrong? I can't remember. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, uh, oh no, I don't like it. Run Mario, run! Come on, keep running, buddy! Oh geez, I don't know if I've ever been over to this spot though. Maybe there was a way to get a mini Mario that I just was missing out on. Oh gosh, I almost fell in the pit. That would've been awful, because I need to get down here. We did it though, right? I guess, I guess, I guess I was wrong about the barrel thing. I swear that you needed barrels to break your way into here, but I guess I was getting the barrel thing wrong. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care. Uh, I don't know what those are, they might be power-ups, so I might not want to do that just yet. For now, just hit this P-switch, get up this way, just like that. Get a bunch more stuff, we got it! Now we gotta finish the level without dying, so if this does give me a, a mushroom, no, it gives me another mini Mario. That doesn't make any sense. I got in here because I was mini Mario. Why would I need another mini Mario? Huh? That's weird. Okay, just run, just run. Don't care about the one-up. Just get out of here, we did it! Yes! Ah. That was scary, I don't like it. Not one bit. But there we go, that's another really difficult star coin to get. I can't believe I'm getting them so easily. I mean, in my opinion at the least, maybe I have a little bit of difficulty with it. And let's go ahead and get a mushroom. I really don't think I need mini Mario for the rest of this world, which is good, because I'm, I'm fresh out of them. But hey, we should be able to move on to two, three. This, yeah, this world has a lot of levels too, which makes it even more difficult to get through everything but I don't remember this one too well, so we'll have to get through it slowly and see how things work out. Oh, is this the level where we go underground and it's all dark and spooky? I think so. Is there anything up here? No, I guess not. Okay, go into this pipe and let's go on down. But yeah, that's a big reason why this game is so special for me is because I played it back at an important time in my life. So it's super special for me because I just enjoyed it and I just remember that time of my life a lot. But also it was a good game, that's a good mixture. Because there are some not so good games that I played that I don't remember because I want to omit them from my memory. Okay, be careful, be careful. So it's very dark in here, I'm sure you've noticed. The only thing that gives us light is the fireballs from the piranha plants and my fireballs. And I wanna make sure I eliminate their fireballs and make a lot more of mine. Oh, oh, this is a pipe. I always try to check every pipe in a level like this because you never know when you're gonna find a room like this. And we get a one up, cool, I'll take it. I don't think there's a star coin around here, so I think we're good to get out of here. Oh my gosh, it gets scary real quick. But what is this pipe? This is surely something as well, right? Uh, oh, I didn't even see that you shot. Oh, that stinks. Just as soon as I get out of there too. That's gonna make progressing through this a lot more difficult, unless I can get another one soon. So I'm gonna be looking out for it. We still haven't gotten a single one in all oh, these guys. What game are these guys from? Mario 3, I think? Yeah, I think so. They are not fun to deal with. Oh, there's a pipe. No, 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 no! Come on, <laughs> get me out of here. I need to run quickly. But I also have to dodge the fireballs and the fireballs with eyeballs. That, that is just weird. Maybe, the, is this a star coin? I can't remember. I don't think I've ever found this secret before. Okay, so this might be tough to get. These guys are like indestructible. Hey, I got a one up for that. Weird, okay. I'll take it, but that was really bizarre. <laughs> okay, so still no star coin. This is getting really concerning. How far have I gone through this level without a single one? Be careful, go through like this. I wish this would give me another fire flower. What is going on around here? Got all these weird little blocks that we can run through, but can't go down under them. Oh, is this another mini Mario thing? Oh, now I'm a little concerned, but we get a star power, and as you can see, it lights up the whole room, so if there is a star coin around here, yep, just like that, I'll be able to find it a little bit more easily. Oh, we get another one, and that is our first one. Awesome. So I gotta, gotta be careful. Mini Mario is not something I wanna use in this level if I don't have to, so let's hope that I don't, and that my memory isn't just like awful or something. Get another star coin, and not star coin. I wish it was, but it's a star power. Oh, here's one. Oh, look at you. Oh, you're a fire bro, huh? Not a problem, that's what you are. 
Oh, there's another one. I want to get these as much as I can. It makes this level so much easier. And what is that? That's just a fire flower, which I'll gladly take still. Grab it. So we only need one more star coin. Where could it be? I don't know, but it looks like our star power is up for good this time. Get rid of these guys as much as I can. But I might have to get rid of their little friend first if I can. I don't know if, I don't know if that's possible at the moment. Don't come to that. Gotta be careful. Got him. Okay, that's pretty good. Now they're just, you know, one less piranha plant to deal with. Oh, is it up there? I think it is. Let's see if we can't make that jump. Oh yeah, you definitely can. I just need to run, 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 jump, jump. Oh boy. Is there a secret exit in this level? I don't think so. Yeah, there's just a star coin right here. Okay, so I got it, all three of them. And I'm almost positive this is, yep, not a secret exit. This is just, this is just the other exit right here. So very, very cool. I think you can actually do an indefinite one-up jump here if you weren't holding the, the hold the Koopa shell button. <laughs> okay, I've never actually successfully done that in any Mario game, the infinite one-up glitch. I guess it's not a glitch if they intentionally put it in so many different Mario games, but it's still a very cool little thing. Anyways, so there's that done, which means we can finally move on to World 2 Tower. And will it be easy, will it not be, I'm not sure. Let's ask Roy. He doesn't seem very willing to answer. <laughs> okay, um. Doesn't seem very friendly. Instead of lava, we have sand though, which is a little bit more survivable, and there's two doors. Do these both go the same way? I suppose we'll find out. Ooh, okay, so yeah, it looks like they both go the same way. But if I tilt the Wiimote, I, I can't tilt it too fast or I'll think I'm trying to spin it. We get a bunch of coins. Oh, this is cool. This is an easy way to earn up some extra coins. Extra money. Be interesting in a, I mean, I guess that's, I mean, now that I think about it, that's exactly how they do it in Mario Odyssey. I was gonna say, it'd be interesting if you could actually use the coins to buy something for once. And then I realized Mario Odyssey is the thing and that's exactly what you do. So let's be careful. And then you also have these little grates. Haven't even mentioned those really too much. I think this is the first level we've had them. And they're just like Mario World, where you get to climb up the little grates, and sometimes there'll be enemies on the grates as well, so you gotta be careful about that. Okay, oh boy, oh boy, wall jump, wall jump. I'm trying to keep an eye out for any kind of hidden walls or hidden like little secrets like that, but so far I haven't found too many. Hey, who's shooting that stuff at me? That wasn't very nice. I think they just sort of randomly, yeah, just come out of the sky. It's so weird. I always just imagine, oh no, did I go the wrong way? Uh-oh. Oh no, I can go around that way, it looks like. Oh gosh, don't hit the fireball, <laughs> be careful. Oh gosh. I always imagine that Kamek is just slightly overhead, just out of sight shooting those, because he's around the entire adventure, always trying to make things more difficult for us. It would make sense. Okay, so there's one star coin down, we're going through a door, it's not the boss door, it's just a normal, regular door. Okay, go ahead and grab that. Oh no, wow, okay, that was weird. Let's go ahead and grab this. Be careful of dry bones. Oh, oh gosh, I'm scared. I'm really scared. I wonder if that dry bones is protecting some power-ups. Let's find out the safe way. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh well, we, we still did it, we still did it just fine. Oh, oh, what's up this way then? Maybe just an easier way to get up? Gotta be careful, because of the fireball still. Yeah, this might, I, I didn't know that you could just get up super easy like that. Is this something? The good way, or the best way to check if there's any secrets in the walls is usually the pattern that's next to them. Gosh darn it, I just wanna land up here. There we go. I mean, maybe I need this for something, but oh, oh, that gave me a bunch of coins over there. See, I guess there was like a little thing up this way. Oh, come on. Oh, and a one-up, that'll be good. Two one-ups, right there. But yeah, I guess up here there's a little secret thing. You can tell, like I said, by the patterns on the, on the wall there, it sort of, points out if there's something secret. Oh, that's a mushroom. And here's another example of that. You can tell that this one seems a little bit odd, and that's for a reason, because there's a door behind there. So let's go ahead and check this out. Ooh, okay. So this isn't gonna be too helpful for the star coin situation, but it'll be plenty helpful for trying to get more power-ups. So flip on over like that, and then get this one if we can manage. Nice. And we got it. Okay, so that's an ice flower that'll help a lot for all the dry bones, because there are a lot of dry bones in this castle, this tower. So I wanna get rid of them. Just like this, yes. I do really like the new power-ups in this game. Every new Super Mario Bros. game has new power-ups. Of course, in 
the DS version, it was the giant Mario and the mini Mario. And then this version, you still have the mini Mario and you don't have the, the giant Mario. Sorry to spoil it, but yeah, giant Mario doesn't show up a single time in this game, which is a total shame because it's a great power up. It's so much fun. But unfortunately, it does not. Anyways, let's go ahead and face our boss. It's Roy Koopa. Last episode, I kept on calling Larry Roy for some reason, which isn't correct. Oh gosh, oh no, he stuns me. I, I forgot he did that. I thought that was something another Koopa did, but I guess he does it. Anyways, we'll try to be careful. His Koopa shell moves around. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought I was gonna wall jump there, but I didn't exactly. Come on, get him, got him. So yeah, that's sort of a nice little trick is that you could just hang out in the sand if you don't wanna deal with him. It's not that big of a deal regardless, but then we can land on you one more time. We took you out. Roy Koopa is one of the largest Koopalings for sure. He's just huge. He's got some cool shades. Well, adds a lot of personality. Okay, so there is another tower taken down. We're, we're gonna be facing Roy Koopa again though at the castle. So we have a lot of work ahead of us. He's jumping around like it's no problem. So yeah, let's continue with World 2. The difficult stuff has yet to end because we have a lot more levels left to go. So we'll deal with them however we can. But for now, we got ourselves our first, I believe, mushroom hunt and a toad has been abducted again. We're not worrying about that for now. We're gonna save and uh, we're good to go. Let's go ahead and do two, World 2 mushroom hut. Or I guess, I guess one up hunt. I don't know, there's no name for it, it's just a symbol. But this should be different. Here's a chance to win some one ups, go through the door and to play. I would love to. Okay, so we got the one up blast. Hop in a cannon, you only get one shot. Oh, that's scary. So we need to point the Wiimote in just a certain way so that we can get, oh gosh, yeah, this is not gonna be easy for me. Oh, I'm really bad at these. Oh, okay. I'm gonna wait for the perfect moment for when they line up to the right. Okay, ready, set. God, oh, no, okay, that was good. Now we got three of them. And I'm very good at this. <laughs> okay, there's that done. Spend your star coins at Peach's Castle in World 1 to watch hint movies. More hint movies will unlock as you continue your adventure, so stop by every once in a while. I actually didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I totally forgot. So yeah, we'll, we'll check out Peach's Castle once we complete the game and get all the star coins, see what that's all about. But for now, World 2-4, is it gonna be a treacherous level? Probably, aren't they all? It's World 2 after all. <laughs> oh, I really don't like this one. Oh, I remember this one all right. It is not fun. Propeller cap will be very helpful, but it's just all sandstorms and awfulness. It's not easy to deal with. But if I can get you, and it's just like holding on tight when the, the, the wind starts blowing, because there's not much you can do about it. Oh, well, I just got rid of the Koopa shell I wanted to use. Okay, well there's a power block. I mean, I can make some coins fall, but it doesn't too, do, do too much more than that. But the propeller cap will be very, very helpful for a couple of things. If I do remember, there is a, yep, a secret right there. A little bit of a tough one to get to without the propeller cap, so you really, really want it. And this is the first dark coin of the level, I sure hope, because I haven't really had too much of a chance to miss too much. Oh, here we go. How can I get up there, though? I am not sure. I mean, I guess, oh yeah, like this. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I got it! Yeah, now I just gotta get out of here. <laughs> that's a little tricky. Oh no, come on, that's bad. I had to go back this way then. Nope, just like that. You can do it. And then land on this one. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, this time we got it. Didn't make any kind of silly mistakes. And I gotta be careful, don't land on the Koopa. I don't know where I'm going. So I'm hoping that if it's plopping me off over here, that means I haven't missed any star coins. Can only hope. There's another propeller cap if I need it. And I may just. For now, let's throw that barrel, see what it gets done for me. Not too much, but a little something. Prana plants aren't a worry anymore, which is great. At least there's two of, of them. I don't see too much over here going on. Oh, one up. I'm gonna have to leave that one where it is because it fell. And here's our checkpoint, so let's really hope we haven't missed anything. Gotta be careful of the wind, but I got into this pipe. This has to be a star coin, right? And this is another one that you need a propeller cap for. Luckily, they're nice enough to uh, give you one in this level, instead of it being something where you have to get it from another level. I feel like that's sort of the biggest problem this game has, is that there are a fair chunk of star coins that it feels like it's almost impossible to get them without a power-up. 
that you gotta get in another level, and that's sort of a pain. I don't really like that design choice. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. No, 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 I'm gonna die. I didn't expect the wind to push me yet. Ah, oh, that stinks. Because I know how to get that star coin, but I need the propeller cap, which means I need to get another one. Isn't that fun? So this is a tough jump to make because you actually have to use the power of the wind. And I suggest you just try to time it. Of course, if you hold the down button, the wind doesn't push you as much. Okay, just go like that. There we go. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I did it. Okay, so yeah, if you have a bit of an issue, you can sort of wall jump a little bit. That's another crazy difficult star coin to get, especially if you're newer at the game. But since I'm just a little bit more experienced because I've played this a couple times, even then I still die a lot. You know, just, but that's something that can help. Oh, let me try to get that Koopa. I might be able to get a one up here, depending. Okay, nope. Wow. Yeah, I'm such a skilled player at New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I've played this game a thousand times. Watch me get hit by the simplest things. I'm Zebra. Blah, blah, blah. I talk a lot. Okay, I've made fun of myself enough. Ah, oh, and I missed the one up. If I actually got a triple jump there, I might have been able to make it. Because I think the triple jump in this game will give you a little bit of extra, like, jump distance, height, and stuff. I don't think the original had triple jump. New Super Mario Bros. DS? Yeah, I guess not. Okay, so there's two four done. We got two five and two six, so let's head into two five first, obviously. Wanna make it all go in order. And it looks like we have ourselves pokies. These guys were in uh, Super Mario World, and here they are again, which hopefully means we'll run into another friend that was also in Super Mario World. We'll have to wait and see. I'm not sure if he actually is in this level. Oh gosh, be careful. I don't know how I survived that except for ridiculous luck. And, oh hey, here he is, our good friend Yoshi. So if we wait for these guys to turn into fruits for some reason, which they just randomly do, we can actually eat them whole and just get a one up out of it. Or at least if they're big enough. If they're smaller like this guy is, I'm not really sure how it works, but it sort of goes with the music. It's a little odd how that works. That was, yeah, that was just a mushroom, I think. Oh gosh, eh, no, Yoshi! Okay, that's our first time getting hit with Yoshi, as you can see. What'll happen is he gets scared and runs off. But you might have noticed another detail. It's that Lakitu's throwing stuff at us, and if I get into his cloud, I can start riding it and grab a star coin that's right there in front of us. Okay, awesome stuff. Oh gosh, it runs out really quickly. Holy cow, we had like no time in that thing. Can another guy show up, please? Because I didn't know what was in that little brick block. I want to check that out. So we want to try to... Oh, got him. Okay, that was awesome. So let's get up like that, get into it, and you'd imagine these clouds would have weight limits. Mario plus Yoshi, Yoshi must be pretty heavy. Maybe that's why it runs out so quickly. <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there's, I think there's a secret here somewhere. Maybe, maybe not. Let's try it out. Maybe I'm wrong and this will just lead me to my doom. But if I remember this correctly, there's a secret around here. If I plop down like this and that, Yep, there we go. Ooh, it's dark down here, it's spooky, but I do have Yoshi. You might also notice that when you're playing with Yoshi, the music changes a little bit in a really cool way. But if you have the light box, you can eat it and you still light up the area. That doesn't make a ton of sense. What are you What are you laughing at, buddy? Oh, did that seriously hit me? Oh, that's silly. Luckily, Yoshi is sort of in a little, little pit, so he doesn't run away from me. Because he'll like run right off pits, the poor guy. There must be, yep, a star coin somewhere around here. Thought so. Don't wanna leave the level without that. Do we keep the light block? That'd be funny. I don't think we do. Yep, he just eats it on his way up. Silly Yoshi. You're not supposed to eat those. There we go, we got him again. Yeah, these just don't last as long, so you can't really properly explore with them. But I'll be trying my best. There has to be another secret around here, I think. I'd have to imagine so, right? I mean, I probably wanna explore the ground just as much as I'm exploring up above. Gotta be careful about all that kind of stuff because Lakitu shows back up and this is always causing havoc for us. Got it? No, 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 I did not get it. Okay, oh boy, be careful. <laughs> I gotta get to that before it disappears. I don't know if it'll start disappearing until you land in it, luckily, but that might be wrong. And yeah, it's already gone. Come on, that's silly. Oh gosh, Yoshi, Yoshi, where are you going, buddy? I need you. I need you, you need me. No, Yoshi, Yoshi, Yoshi. Yeah, I gotcha. I can't believe I, I got the save there. So let's wait until you guys turn into little fruits if I can. I might not be able to for you. But that's one of the interesting things about these guys. If you hit their bottoms, 
they'll just go one less, but if you get them by the head, they'll turn all the way, I guess, gone. I don't know how I'm trying to explain that right now. We got a mushroom there, nothing crazy. Get rid of this guy as much as we can, just like this. Then if I can get over to you, oh, I ran out of time. But I missed a star coin. So yeah, it, it definitely has to be up above. So I need to find another Lakitu, and I guess get up there. I don't know why they disappear so quickly. I don't remember that being a thing. Maybe if I hop onto it without Yoshi, that might be a big help. But they definitely expect you to get onto this Lakitu. Whoa, okay, that's not what I wanted. I wanted to do that, but not as much the way I did it. Yeah, we move like way faster too. Sorry, Yoshi, you're just a bit too heavy for this one. Oh gosh, oh gosh, there it is. No, come on, that's so stinky. You really gotta move it there. No turbulence allowed. Go ahead and eat you. Oh, I'm so sorry, Yoshi. Can you just hang out there real quickly? I'm so sorry if you end up getting taken out from that, but I just need to move this way. I really need this star coin. And then, got it, okay. Is Yoshi still over there? I'll save you, buddy, hopefully. I might be too late. Or he might have just disappeared because he's off screen. Oh no, he's gone. I'm so sorry, my dinosaur pal. Okay, run this way, got it. Oh no. <laughs> I missed the jump by just a little bit. That's fine. Unfortunately, we don't have our Yoshi friend, but we do have all three star coins, so I guess it makes up for something, right? Maybe. I don't know. There's a Yoshi size hole in my heart now. I missed the poor guy. Anyways, we're gonna go this way. Uh, not up, but to the right. Right here for World 2-6, where we have a normal exit and a secret exit. The only secret exit in this world, I believe, I mean, there was only one secret exit in World 1 as well. They sort of keep it tame with the secret exits in this game. I mean, I feel like they do that for most of the new Super Mario Bros. series, but this one included. <laughs> okay, so, gotta be careful. But I do get a propeller cap, which will make this significantly easier, because I feel like the most of this level is on top of this spinning block, which is just simply not fun. So I'm not gonna worry about that Koopa too much. He's a green Koopa, so he should fall off, but if, buddy, you're not, I'm gonna go ahead and do the falling for you or something like that. I didn't sound as witty as I thought I was going to. Okay, get rid of you as well. You always gotta remember that the Koopas with the wings take two hits. I never expect that for some reason. I just gotta figure out where I'm going. I think there might be another star coin up this way. I don't remember this being a very long level. Oh, here we go. So what's interesting about this is that I can like get like a double propeller going on. I don't know if that's actually how it works. I sort of want to test that out. I pick up one of these things, right? No, no, no. Go like this, pick it up, jump, propeller, throw it, propeller again. Nah, you can't. That'd be so cool if you could get like a double propeller out of it. Obviously, it wouldn't be very useful because you can you can't take those things out with the out of the little area with you. So it wouldn't matter much if you could, but you can't. Anyways, we got another one up. Now I just wanna get this, which is another propeller cap. Maybe I'll just leave it there in case I need it, because these guys, these guys were in the last game and they're just as much jerks now as they were then. I don't like it. We can get a lot of uh, coins just by being propeller Mario, which is nice. Come on, grab those, fly up here. And then there's our last star coin, which is great. Okay, be careful, be careful. If he strikes me down from the sky, I won't be able to, uh, what? I landed on him, he didn't land on me. That was baloney. But yeah, if he strikes me from the sky when I'm on the propeller cap, that might have me landing to my doom. Or I guess practically not landing at all because it's an endless pit. Be careful. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to get all the, the, the I was gonna cut the fire coins. Red coins because of you, you jerk. Get out of here. Stop giving me a hard time. I'm just trying to win the game. So you might have seen those little coin outlines. That'll be important to follow if we're trying to find the secret exit, which we're doing next time, not this time. So we don't have to worry about it at this moment, but in a couple moments we will. Okay, get up like that. And then, oh, got the one up. We're at 72 lives. I didn't realize how much we've been climbing with that. Very cool. So there we have it. There is world 2-6. We gotta head back into it one more time though to go ahead and get that secret exit. So let's go ahead and do that. And hopefully everything will turn out okay. Okay, so we're coming up on it. I think I need to jump, jump. Oh no, I was a little off, I was a little off, be careful. Okay, up here, yeah, we made it. Oh, you gotta get it from like the very tip of your jump. It's a really scary one. We were able to make it work. So we need to go up like that, like this, and then, whoa, -ho -ho, we made it. Okay, sort of messed up on that last one, but I was able to survive and still get the one up. That shows you how overpowered the propeller cap can be. 
But I'm not complaining, I love the thing. So there's that done, that is a World 2-6 secret exit, and as you can probably tell, it leads to the cannon up this way. Actually, maybe I did miss a secret exit. Did I? I can't remember. Cause you might have noticed that there's a there's a pipe up this way. I don't remember where that pipe comes in from, so maybe I did miss a secret exit somewhere. I might want to go ahead and check that. Oh, but first we got our first mini game. Well, not our first mini game, but our only mini game of World Two. It is these guys. These guys aren't too bad. They're actually pretty workable because as you can see, when you go near them, they start plopping down. And then if you just land on top of them, you can pick them up and then throw them that way. Okay, and he should take out his little friend, which will be helpful for me. And I get hit by that one, which is a total shame, because I would love, would have loved to keep that propeller cap. But yeah, I don't know where in the world that pipe comes from. I gotta figure that out, because that's probably from a secret exit that I wanna go and find. So I might go and double check. Oh yeah, right here. Oh gosh, totally forgot about World 4, 2, 4 secret exit. Let me find this one real quick too. Okay, so I do remember this. Oh gosh, yes, I really remember this. I don't know how I missed out on this before, but yeah, it's a bit of a tough jump to make. We need the propeller cap another time, and what we do is we jump, jump, and then I need to wall jump like that, yep. And then in this pipe right here, this sneaky little pipe, we got ourselves our secret exit. And it's such a weird one too, but I guess I was totally wrong about there only being one secret exit in this world. <laughs> I can't believe I'm forgetting such little details, but. Once again, I try not to remember too much about World 2 because it's agony. It's such a tough world. But there we go, we got that done, which means we unlocked this little pipe right here. It's such an easy thing to miss in the overworld map too. But it just leads to there, and it's a nice little shortcut to the castle if you're just trying to get through World 2. I mean, I would suggest if you don't like World 2 that much, you should probably go ahead and get the cannon from World 1 and just shoot yourself right over to uh, World 4, I think? World 4 or 5, something like that. But anyways, it goes, um, to castle, pretty cool. So let us continue forward by, I guess actually, yeah, I guess we're actually all good to move to the castle. I mean, I might wanna go ahead and get this star hut as well, cause why not? A free star sounds fun to me. Oh, this thing is chasing after me, I don't like it. Oh, it's creepy. Anyways, we're going this way, gonna go ahead and get the star hut, and then we'll be good to go ahead and finish this treacherous world. Uh, here's a rare item, I'm sure it will come in handy. I'm out of here, goodbye. <laughs> I can't get out, let me out. It just sort of ends it by itself. Okay, so, no, and I got caught. Okay, hopefully this won't take too long, but I'm not really too worried about it. I don't expect to use a propeller cap in this uh, castle. I mean, I, I mean, we can, it just won't be all that useful. Okay, so I might go ahead, try to grab that, throw this down there, that might be helpful. It'd be cool if that could actually pick up the balloons for me, but it doesn't quite work that way. Okay, we should be fine. Getting rid of the rest of this. Oh, look at that cool little move I just did. I like it. And there we go. We saved the toad and get three mushrooms for it. Now you can actually die with this, and if you do, you don't get any prize, of course. I don't know if you lose a life or not, but you might. Well, there's that done, which means, like I said, let's move over to the castle and beat up Roy Koopa a second time. Hopefully everything works out just fine. I'm sure it will. Won't be too bad, right? Let's see. Okay, so we got a first star coin right up here, so I guess it can be helpful to have the propeller cap for that, but I don't think it's necessary. Because I believe this is a reference to a castle in the original Super Mario Bros. for the NES, where you have to sort of choose the right path. Like, it'll give you three paths, and if you choose the correct one, it will let you continue, which I think is this middle one. Uh, we're about to find out. Uh, It'll play a noise if we've chose the correct one. And if you choose the wrong one, it will just cycle through. So I did choose the incorrect one. As you can see, I'm back at the beginning again. But that's how you get the star coin, is by choosing the incorrect one. I like how we can get rid of the little fire guys by throwing ice at them. That's convenient, because I don't think they show back up after you do that. So it's definitely not the, the middle one. Is it the top one? Is it top, bottom, middle? Because usually there's three you have to go through. Let's see. Are we gonna have a noise? Uh, yeah, that's it, ding ding, we got it. So here's our next area. We got ourselves a piranha plant and a couple of other things. And we already have our star coin. This one isn't too bad. We just need to make sure we're not mini or like small Mario and we're good. But here, where do we go here? I wanna get this fire flower real quick because I believe we gotta go down this way. 
as you can see, there's some Prana Plants blocking the way. If you had Ice Mario, it wouldn't help you get through there anymore because it would freeze them, making them permanently in the way. Well, not permanently, but in the way for a couple more seconds, which actually makes you at risk of the screen squishing you as it moves forward. But yeah, I guess it's top, bottom, middle is the overall combo we're looking for. Oh, okay, we got our, our final little star coin right here. So go ahead and grab that, and then we gotta get back up there real quick. Any way we can. No, 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 wait, am I wrong about that? I am. Top, bottom, no, we needed middle. Oh, I'm so forgetful. <laughs> see, now we can't go through there, as you can see. If we had Ice Mario, I guess maybe we could have with maybe one of the dry bones, but we're supposed to, with the P-Switch, run over there, collect the coins so we can make our way through. I just totally forgot, I blanked. But that was wrong, so we gotta go do it again. It isn't too hard to do, luckily. I can just go ahead and do that, run over this way. Try to be quick with this, as quick as I can, I suppose. Got it, hop up here, collect these coins, and now I'm good. Now I have nothing to worry about. No, no fear at all. What is it called? Uh, No worry in the world, that's, that's the saying, right? I think so. Anyways, I'm just sort of being a dingus, making Mario jump around because I'm trying to waste time. But yeah, I guess that's the pattern, top, bottom, middle, which I'm pretty sure that's what the pattern was in the original Mario game that had that. And there are any of these. Yep, we got a power up right there. There's nothing over here. Okay, we're good, we don't need it. We already have a fire flower. Don't think it's gonna do any more for us. So let's see what this is all about. Will this be just the same as uh, the previous castle where there were pillars moving up and down? I'm sure there'll be something, that's for sure. Hey, Roy. Actually, nothing looks fancy in this room. But he's about to change that high Kamek as well. Uh. Hmm. What is he up to? Oh boy, pipes. Hey, I'm the plumber here. Mario is at the least. He should be the guy running through pipes. So yeah, this could be a little bit tricky because remember, if he lands on the floor, it shakes us and we can't move for a moment. So we need to jump when he lands, but he tries to trick you out by poking out of a pipe, but not fully going into it. So we gotta be careful. He'll be like, hey, here I am. But then when he raises his arms, that means he's gonna, he's gonna fall. But if we actually follow Roy this time, he should pop out of his shell when he bounces through twice, and then before he can get, some, get into the pipe again, we can take him out an additional time. Look at that, we got you, Roy. You're taken down for now. Okay, so there's that done. And for it, we get yet another key. And we broke a million points on the top right there. Uh, that's probably the first of several million we'll get. And here's Princess Peach again. Why don't you just jump out? Now's the perfect time. I mean, I guess she might be worried she might twist an ankle or something. I, I, that's a plenty fine excuse. But Mario, if Bowser Jr. can make that jump, you definitely can. You learned from last time. Just make the leap, grab on. <laughs> You're silly. Well, off they go and we'll chase after him. <laughs> it's like, stop. They were already stopped. You got all the star coins in roll too. Awesome, so that is another world fully completed. We actually did get all the secret eggs this time, and now we are moving on to one of my favorite worlds in the game. I am so very excited for this one. As you can see, it's world three, and it is totally snow covered, and has my favorite Koopaling as the Koopa boss. So everything is going well in this world. I can't wait to play it, but that'll have to wait for next episode. We are going to save and yeah, that's gonna be it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of New Super Mario Bros. Wii. If you watched this point of video, make sure you comment Propeller Zebra so now you've watched at the end that you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.